Hey everybody, welcome back to Quest for Glory 5, Trial by Fire. Okay. What the hell are we doing? Map. Bam. Use. Okay, this is where we are right now. Huh. Okay, I'm not sure what to do now, I'll be honest with you. Eight twenty-one p.m. Hmm. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, this portrait. This looks like a portrait of Elsa von Spielberg. She obviously wants to keep an eye on you. This looks like a landscape done by some amateur painter and purchased at a yard sale for a drachma. It was not a bargain. Another example of an artist with too much paint on their hands. Excuse me, just gotta set my timer. There we go. Uh, chair. Bucket. Eh. Let's just go to bed. Until morning. <laughs> you awaken much refreshed early the next morning. Now let's make our bed. You neatly make the bed. Like the right thing to do. Aloha, boy. Oh, you're a sight for sure, I since I landed here. Okay, what is with you, gnomes? Is this is this just a gnome thing? Why can't you be more like the elves and make fixed cookies? something really special. Pancakes topped with fruit. They started to make a salmon souffle, but they didn't have any salmon. Uh -huh. They did get a good deal from Andre on some anchovies, though. Sal wanted to make a blueberry pie, but Merrick was selling bananas and grapes, so she made those into a pie instead. Okay. Just as Rover was taking the souffle out of the oven, Tony called Tessie a frumpy old toadstool, so she threw the pie at him. She got him square on the face. And the fruit pie pan fell on the souffle, squashing it flat. So now we have anchovy pancakes and baked fruit. Hope you like it. Probably won't. I must have a constitution of steel. There's no other explanation for how I'm able to eat that and not vomit. Okay. What to do today? One thing's for sure, we need to make money. A lot of money. But how? How do you make money? That just seems, uh... What's the word I'm looking for? Stupid. Not to mention boring. Why should I, I you know, place my bets on it when I can participate? Who the hell are you? 
This young man looks like around 20 years of age and has been outdoors for most of his life. Let's have a talk with this guy. He seems, um... Seems to stand out. Kalimera! That means good day here in Silmaria. Welcome to our city. I hope you find happiness on this island. I am Andre, Hi, Steve. a fisherman. I am also happy to ferry people to the nearby islands on my boat. You're Steve Blum. You're, there's always Steve Blum. This is a video game. Of course it's Steve. Uh -huh. Yasas! It is nice to see a new face around here. I am out on this dock on most mornings. Yes, I, I fish that. for most of the day and evening and come back in the night. I know the waters around Silmaria in my sleep. Is that what you do when you go to sleep? Just If you up. ever wish to go for a boat ride, I'll be happy to take you around the bay or to the nearby islands. Any further out than that, and boats are attacked by sea creatures. Ooh. Most fishermen on Marit live in the villages outside town. That is, they used to live there. They have been driven from their homes by attacks from armed mercenaries. They have been driven from the sea by attacks from tritons and sea monsters, and most have left this island. I am the sole remaining Silmarian fisherman. Dude, you are cornering the market. Tritons are half-men, half-fish people who live under the water. They used to be friendly and helpful to fishermen. Lately, though, they have attacked every ship that sails past the nearby islands. Yeah, no one knows why they have become hostile. You know, things happen. The mercenaries are armed soldiers who have been sailing into the fishing villages and driving all the fisherfolk away. They could invade the city any day. I hope they do. I can kill them all. Silmaria is the only city on the island of Marit. Marit is a large island, as you can see if you look on the map. In good years, you can sail around the entire island. And this is not a good year. And the seas are too dangerous to travel that far. Oh, that's a pity. It was good speaking with you. Yasas! You're making up words. I move so stiffly, don't I? Okay, I'm not sure what we're doing today. Probably said that. At some point I need to find my way onto Science Island. Yes, that exists. Mm, other stuff. Open the door and walk right into the apothecary. You have been injured. Please allow me to heal your wounds. Oh, awesome. There now, you're all patched up. Doesn't that feel so much better? Oh, Julinar, look! It's that prince person who told me about you. I'll never forget him. I can't tell you how happy I Steve am that you told me about again. Julinar back in Tarna. Uh, whatever your name is. <laughs> Welcome to our apothecary. I believe we have met before, although I was in quite another form at the time. Oh, that's yeah, right. I hugged you. Julian was a tree when you last saw her, wasn't she? she doesn't blink well, until it's good to see talking. you again. That's creepy. It is a great pleasure to see Maybe you. Maybe they don't blink at all. You have been most kind to me. It is good to be human again. In the I form of a tree, blink. you can learn great wisdom, but it is the knowledge born of solitude. I now enjoy greatly the company of others. Yeah, I am mastering the arts of healing both the body and the soul. Salim is a man of great kindness in heart. I am deeply happy with him. Now that's good to hear. With Salim's knowledge of potions and pills, and my healing abilities, we have much business here. This land is so much more alive than the deserts I grew up in. It is so and green and lush no, that it soothes it. the soul. You said it, Julinar. Plants make people happy. Especially when you smoke them. If you are ever injured, I will be honored to heal you. Is that garlic? That takes me back. Say hi. Hi. It's so good to see you again. I really have to thank you for telling me about Julinar. She's everything I dreamed she would be. I left Tarna and went all the way to Shapir by boat. I followed your directions, 
And there I found Julinar, all alone in the desert, just like you told me. I guess even trees get lonely. So I camped yeah, out no, there and talked the to her, gave her some hugs cursed, and some really good plant food I grew. Her leaves really perked up with my kind words. Then I awoke one night and the tree was gone. There sat the girl of my dreams in her place. I was totally thrilled, even if I did kind of miss the tree. I should hit you. We've been together ever since. We're doing a good business here. The plants just love this place and grow really well. We like making people happy too. This is such a wonderfully cosmic place to be. I'm really glad we came here. Come back soon. You need to mellow out a little more. Put some flowers in your hair, <laughs> that sort of thing. What do you got on you? Health potion, vitality potion, fireproof potion, healing pills, poison cure pills, stamina pills. Um, I think I'll wait. But what about these? Jalapeno peppers. Can I have one? You mind? Oh, come on. Wait, there's one. Can I has? I can has. You actually need those to put on pizza. I'm not kidding. I wish I was. But I am not. Uh. Um. Oh, fine, ignore me. See if I care. Welcome. May I entice you with some tasty treat? Treat? Artichoke pizza. May your mouth be pepperoni pizza. Oh God, that's expensive. May your mouth now. Let's see the game. Because I'll be honest, I'm not entirely sure I'm doing this right. Back into there. Take the jalapenos and you put it on the pepperoni. Isn't it working? No. No, there's a way to do this. Maybe you put it on this pizza. Mm. Uh, maybe I have to find out about it first. Which means first I need to get to Science Island. target, probably used by the guards to practice their spear throwing. I don't think this is the right way. God. Hmm. The boulders are too heavy for even you to move. Hey there. Talk to the weaponsmith. Yeah. Welcome to sunny Samaria. 
What do you want? What you, you want to see my weapons? Show me you've got the cash, and I'll show you my stuff. Right you know then. where to look if you're looking for weapons. Clearly, you're not a very friendly person, but let's see what you got. Arrows. Helmet. Shield. Magic spear. Magic sword. Well. Hmm. I'm tempted, but I probably shouldn't. Not yet, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Raise the porticulatus. I think this leads to Science Island. Could be wrong. You kind of think of it, I don't know how to sneak. Is there a button for it? Eh, it doesn't matter. Let's see what we have over here. I hope they get closer when you... It zooms in when you get closer, because I can't see what the anything is over there right now. Come on, zoom in. Thank you. God, what's this? What's this? Some sort of sign about Science Island. I just want to read the sign. How do I know which one to do? Oh well. Let's just try pulling stuff. How about this? You pull the lever to re-engage the gears in the wind. Looks like it affects the machinery leading from the control box below out to the hanging poles. You assess that it probably switches something in some way, as they are ought to do. Pull the lever. Push the lever. Use force on the lever. <coughs> very boring. I need something to do. It's time for action, damn it. Hmm. Eh, let's go see if we can fight something.
let's try the trigger spell. Trigger spell. Sign the Thieves Guild is closed for the day. Seems reasonable the thieves are naturally nocturnal. Interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright, let's see if we can't find something to find. Oh my gosh! the dragon of doom as long as this stands the dragon shall not fly again shall not again fly well i think it would be in my best interest to make sure that thing uh stays there so yeah got in a little combat finally so uh hmm well, i guess we'll end that video here that video, this video, and uh, next time, I'll hopefully know how to get to Science Island. Probably not. Hi, can you? Anybody? No, okay. Anyway, I am the Blues 32. This is Quest for Glory 5. TTFN. Ta-ta for now. <laughs>